I'm Will Patterson. I'm a logo designer and creative director based in the UK. Today, I'm going to be branding a new coffee company. Using Adobe Stock, I'm going to be showing you how I use assets to make the brand come alive. So if a client was to see my pitch for the brand, they would see it as it would be on packaging. So here is the brief. This episode is inspired by the thing that gets us all going in the morning, coffee. Using Adobe stock assets and original artwork, imagine what it would look like if you had your own coffee shop. Create a logo for your brand and packaging for your signature roast. So I have to create the logo and the coffee packaging through the assets on Adobe stock. So now I've got all the information from the brief, it's time to start mood boarding. This is the first step in my process. This is simply me going to Adobe stock and searching for coffee related items and a sort of mood for the brand. I want it to be very minimalistic, kind of hipstery, like a bald man with glasses with a massive beard is serving me coffee. I want that sort of vibe. Once I've done my mood boarding, I go ahead and start sketching. Now my first idea was to call the brand Creative Roast, but then that wasn't edgy enough for me. So I thought, I would go for crow, which is like an amalgamation of creative roast in an edgier format. So I settled on the sans serif typeface with an umlaut on the O to make it look cool. Obviously this wasn't part of the brief, but I wanted to have a bit of fun with the logo. Now that I've got the logo in place, time to vectorize it. I bring it into Adobe Illustrator, which is where you can bring in normal images or sketched images that aren't vectored and then make them vectored so they can be scaled as big or as small as you want them to be. Now to make the brand alive and for the packaging to work, we need to go ahead onto Adobe Stock and check out some of the packaging things that we've got on there. I just type in mock-ups or coffee mock-ups or coffee and packaging, and I'm gonna click Undiscovered. Now this feature is really cool. If you wanna find an asset on Adobe Stock that you've never seen and that's never been downloaded by anyone else before, you can click this and it will show you all the assets that you can download that's never been downloaded. So let's choose this asset here, which is a coffee shop the outside to show the brand on the board. I'm gonna put my logo on top of there because this is the sort of black and white style I'm going for. We'll save the color for the actual packaging. So creating the mock-up is kind of a weird process for me. I use Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Stock and Illustrator. Once I've downloaded the mock-up that I like, that I think I can make work, I go ahead and find the actual dimensions of this by copying the actual image, the placeholder from Photoshop's mock-up. I then paste it into Adobe Illustrator so I can make an artboard at the exact aspect ratio. From here, I start adding in all of my key features into the design, so all the text. I want the actual roast name to be the most visible thing as in this shop, people won't be just wanting to see my brand, they wanna see the roast name on the actual packaging. So to brighten things up, I wanted to add a background to this so that when I bring it into the mock-up, it looks better. I typed in on Adobe Stock Abstract, which gave me these cool vector backgrounds. Then I used a function called Find Similar because I wanted to find similar backgrounds that I haven't seen. I finally pick an asset, I download it, open it up, in Illustrator and then I scale it to my brand packaging. From here I select all of my artwork and I copy it and paste it inside of my smart object inside of Photoshop. I make a few adjustments to the spacing, I change the colors, I fix the Arabica typo and there we have it, my brand packaging all ready and done. If you're looking for mock-up assets in Adobe Stock, a great thing to do is to press templates. This filter allows you to filter out images and illustrations to get an even better search result. Adobe Stock has access to millions of royalty-free assets for you to use in your creative projects. So this is the final product. It didn't take me too long to do. As you can see, Adobe Stock has many assets that you can use for your creative journey to make it super easy. Hope you enjoyed your video. Thanks for watching.